Chris. Hi, and welcome to today's section on showcasing youth diversity and inclusion through storytelling in the Wikimedia movement. My name is Euphemia Owando, one of the core team members of the Wikivibrance project. And with me here today are some of the members of the core team members are uh, in the person of Douglas, James, and Frances, who will also be speaking during this section. We also have an amazing pool of um, speakers, young speakers from different parts of the world who will be joining us today, to, who joined us today as well on this section to talk about the work they are doing in their community and that of the other young people, how they are building communities in uh, different uh, parts of um, the world, um, contributing to Wikimedia um, projects. Beyond this, we are also going to be looking at our new look today. Uh, we'll be unveiling our logo today uh, with the rest of the audience. And um, at this point, I would like to pass uh, the mic to Francesc, who will be jumping in to tell us a little bit about uh, the Wikivibrance project and her work in some regions. Thanks, Ophemia, for this kind introduction. I will start with a little of a personal personal story. I was one day, one year ago, uh, I was in my town, like, uh, you know, it was holidays. And that girl here, Ophemia, she had an idea. Her idea was to celebrate the International Youth Day in the Wikipedia movement. I mean, it wasn't an idea that started in August that year, but it was August that year when we started to... Uh, we try to, well, she asked me some collaboration you know, in this project and I was very kind to, to participate just as my partners here in the, in the core team. And we started with that uh, adventure, which was the, to make a, a, an event and a campaign to celebrate International Youth Day. The celebration of the International Youth Day, I have here some notes. Uh, we held it the 12th and the 13th of August. It was online via Zoom, of course. And we have 71 par registered participants, which is uh, which are very good numbers for being the first time that uh, an event of such characteristics was made in, in our movement. And everyone edited an article on agriculture, food, water, plus climate change. You no, know, those were the, the topics that were related to the International Youth Day in 2021. And of course, we must uh, add that we had uh, some logistic help uh, with using Zoom and, you know, with the event coming from Wikimedia Austria, Wikimedia Österreich, which, uh, well, we are very grateful for everything that they did that very first year. As, as we can see in this slide, so far we've celebrated uh, two local events. Uh, the first one was the African Youth Month which was celebrated uh, between the 5th of November and the 14th of December. Uh, that event, it, it worked as uh, just uh, as everything in the Wikipedia brands works. I mean, there are some local events, there are some formation from experimental Wikimedians to uh, people who are coming to our community. And the African Youth Month last year was centered on the four E's. Education, employment, entrepreneurship, and engagement. We had uh, six countries participating, Rwanda, Uganda, Tanzania, Nigeria, Kenya, and Ghana. And, well, it was uh, the first step that uh, we as Wikivibrance team made, and, and it was a, a success. The last event so far that we have celebrated was the European Youth Day. We celebrated uh, the 2nd of April. We celebrated it in Valencia in partnership with the IVAG, the Valencian Institute of the Yao. And in this case, we had a format. Uh, it, it was it was going to be an in-person event. Unfortunately, the war in Ukraine made uh, that we had to make some changes and switch into virtuality. And it was more focused um, in a conference format, uh, focused on education. And we had experiences from five different countries. And we can say that it was a also a success for both the communities participating and, um, and the organizers, institutional organizers that we have. So basically so far, this is everything that we have uh, done with the International Youth Day. And of course there are too many things that we still have to do and that we hope that 
will all our wonderful organi local organizers that we have and all the wonderful local organizers and communities participating that we am sure that will join us after knowing of this project. We hope that we can do many, many great things in the future. Recording in progress. Now we should uh, give our voice to Euphemia and Douglas, who will talk us about the international events that uh, are already being are already being prepared. Thank you, uh, Frances, uh, for passing the mic back to me, and um, I'm going to talk about uh, briefly about the International Youth Day in 2021, or uh, just like Frances previously mentioned, where well, we had about seven something people uh, who joined us from different parts of the world, from Africa, from Europe, from the US and um, from Asia. And because we were starting out as a first time, we are um, focused on trying to understand some of the challenges that young Wikimedians face in the Wikimedia movement and how uh, they can be better supported um, in doing the work they do. So we had some form of panel discussions um, with some um, young people in the movement who have uh, notable achievements having these discussions and it was really fruitful and also understanding that the project was um, something that young people were very excited to have and um, this year we are even doing it bigger and better but Douglas here is going to step in to tell us how we are doing it this year. Over to you Douglas. Okay, um, thanks so much, Ufemia, and uh, thanks, Francesc, and all viewers out there. Thank you for joining this session. I'll um, f first start with a, a brief story as well, like just like uh, Francesc. So Wiki Vibrance, uh, just like Francesc mentioned, last year is when I came across Wiki Vibrance. It was actually via the African Telegram mailing list where Ufemia had posted about events happening uh, for the International Youth Day. And I really saw a vision uh, for Wiki Vibrance because it was something that was quite unique uh, that didn't happen or that was not happening within the movement. And then if it was happening, we didn't actually know um, details about that within the Wikimedia movement. So that's when my journey started. And uh, I'm quite new to the core team for Wiki Vibrance. I just joined in May. Uh, this year officially, <laughs> but we have held uh, activities since 2021. And um, for this year, 2022, the International Youth Day is being celebrated uh, under the theme of um, creating a world for all ages. Uh, it was officially like uh, commemorated yesterday uh, on 12th August, and uh, it really it really is something that links to what we do as, as Wikimedians and what we want to do in the future. Because uh, young people are the driving force for change uh, and we really need to celebrate them uh, on such events and also celebrate their achievements. So this year we've had a drive for um, Wikimedians to celebrate their own local events with the support of the um, uh, Wikimedia Wikimedia Foundation, some of the communities that have participated have applied for, for, for support from the foundation through the community resources team. And um, uh, like we have a meta page that we'll share uh, probably in the, in the etherpad. But uh, yeah, there are very many communities that are doing activities uh, in regards to youths this year. And um, I'll, I'll, I'll right ahead, I'll showcase some of them that are going to share with us what young people are doing within their communities. Um, so we cannot, dis we cannot disintegrate the, the community because we are one people with a common vision. Um, and by that, I mean, uh, like connecting this to the, to the theme, we are creating a world for all ages, be it um, young people, be it uh, those that are beyond their youths, we cannot dis disintegrate the community, but we can uh, collaborate and work together 
and that is also one of the reasons why uh, we are coupling uh, young people and also experienced Wikimedians Wiki to, to support uh, activities and initiatives of youths. Because if you look at uh, the landscape of the movement, you realize, you realize that there's a, there's a mixture of uh, young people, people who are in their uh, young ages, those who are in the middle ages, and those who are at the peak of their youths. Even when you look at um, most affiliates, uh, like 50% are composed of youths. Uh, like already from the example of uh, the, the core team for Wiki Vibrance, we have a mixture of people who are in their early stages of youths and people who are in their, in their late stages of youths. So um, we can only work together and we can't disintegrate the community because we are one people. And then lastly, um, usually there's a, a, a traditional connection to youths to the sustainable development goals which is fine, uh, but also what we'd like to do as Wikimedians is connect uh, the activities of the young people to the, to the future of Wikimedia. And we, most of us might be aware about Wikimedia 2030. And if you look at um, the vision that we have as Wikimedians, by 2030, uh, there will be definitely a large number of youths within the movement. And also, um, like by 2030, the basis for the future that we want to create would have been created by the current youths that we have today. So that is the reason as to why um, we are celebrating the International Youth Day, youth day and uh, looking at intergenerational solidarity. So youths today will be adults in the future and we can only collaborate and work, work together. Um, in the next slide, um, I would like to introduce some of the members that have been spotlighted to share with us our work of to share with us the work that they are doing within their communities um yes so next slide when you see your name i'll invite romeo uh, romeo if you're there please go ahead and share with us the work that uh, is being done within your community thank you so much all right, thank you so much. Um, I'm, I'm super excited. Uh, I don't know, can you get me? I don't know. Where can... All right, amazing. So thank you so much. Uh, uh, I am from the uh, South Sudan, uh, the Wikimedia user group community here in South Sudan. And um, on this day, we're super excited that actually we are being part of this amazing Wiki Vibrance program, which is going to be able to like uh, showcase what the youth independently are able to do as far as uh, it comes into, you know, what the youth are doing in solving local community problems or even community issues and how they using Wikimedia as a whole uh, to be able to cover up issues concerning like the content gap uh, and issues concerning a lot of stuff. I come from a country that has had a very serious history of war and um, a history of um, instability and hence giving us a very large gap of a lot of things in terms of its own infrastructure, even data itself, even content online. When you come and cite stuff of, uh, about South Sudan, really there is almost about it, but this kind of uh, a spotlight where we bring in uh, youths to come together, and I'm excited right now as a yam, I would even love to show you the number of youth that are right now in the room watching this and ready to be part of this amazing movement to just write and fill in the content gap that is missing about South Sudan. So, super excited, man. I don't know that we could even have such kind of energy from a history whereby we have been within war right now. We have an economic crisis and all that, but we have a lot of youth that are ready to create impactful change by doing this. So came in to just train people. And right now we have people sitting here wanting to know more about what is Wikimania? What is Wikimedia? How can we contribute? How can we do that? So super excited for the support from the Wikimedia Foundation as well. And every other partner who is there to support us together with even my colleagues, Douglas and the others. Thank you so much. I guess we won't be able to say a lot, but we're excited to be part of the team. And 
yeah <laughs> yeah anyway thank you all right that's great to hear uh so that is actually the essence of um of wikimedia like bringing on board uh, new and underrepresented communities and uh, good enough like youths are very excited. Thanks, you. thank you for the story, uh, Romeo. So Terry, go ahead. You can use, uh, maybe you try to use like around two or three minutes and then when you're done, the next person will be able to present. Over to you, Terry. Hello everyone. My name is Terry Siaboke. I am from the Wikimedia community as a group in Kenya. And this is my second Wikimedia to attend, Wikimania to attend. And it's been so exciting for me for the last two years when I joined uh, the Wikimedia community user group in Kenya. Um, previously, I really never uh, used to interact so much with Wikipedia. 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 Until recently Until when... when, when um, I can hear some echo. I don't know if my sound is okay. Now it's working. Please go ahead. Thank you. So what I'm doing in the Wikimedia community user group in Kenya is that um, I am a Wikipedian, first of all. And then also um, in the social media space, I am the one who is uh, curating content for our Twitter page and also managing the page. And uh, through the collaboration of you know, my community members, we are trying to uh, do different activities in the wiki space. For instance, my community has tapped into the creativity of young people in Kenya to mobilize uh, for change in shrinking the gender gaps in Wikipedia. And in the spirit of leaving no one behind, I mean, uh, getting everyone, everyone on board, um, we are trying to uh, put more focus in growing Swahili Wikipedia in Kenya. And in January, actually, we had a capacity building uh, session down in Kilifi at the coast, where we trained um, guys on how to edit in Swahili. Um, and also, we are trying to enhance digital literacy skills through the Wikipedia editing trainings. For instance, in April, we had sessions with about 100 young girls who are techies uh, with an organization called Akira Chicks uh, that is leading in female tech talent in, uh, in Africa. And we empowered them on how to, you know, uh, not just consume Wikipedia content, but also to create and contribute towards uh, growing this movement. We have taken part also in photo walks, for instance, wiki mm -hmm. monuments, We've done workshops in person and virtually. And uh, this year, big for us was the Wiki for Human Rights workshop, which we launched. And uh, we had um, a great turnup of young people who are very charged and geared towards creating uh, a society in which every person's uh, uh, rights are respected and upheld. And that was very big for us. And then we have had community meetups for capacity building. Um, both in person and virtual as well. And key also to mention is that we have been taking part in the months of African cinema through the editathons, which majority of us from the user group have been part of. And Wiki loves Africa because Africa is our, you know, is our motherland. Africa is home. So we can't we can't fail to take part in that. And uh, one lib one ref and we have been part of that. Wiki loves women through the She Said campaign. Women are very, very integral in, in, in our community. Um, and so we are keen on building that. And the Wikimania conference, this is the second one for majority of us from the user group. And we are so excited, despite the challenges that some of us have been experiencing for the last two days, uh, you know, we are finding solutions for that. And most of us are actually watching on YouTube. And we also participated in Wiki Indaba and the movement strategy. And uh, for me to join Wiki Media Movement, it was because somebody inspired me. I mean, somebody was there to make me like think and be part, or want to be part of this uh, community. And this person is none other than our team lead in the Kenya user group, Ms. Winnie Kabinti, who is actually uh, the female co-founder and female lead um, for the uh, Wikimedia community user group in Kenya. And she is under 35 
And at this point is where you allow me to actually celebrate her again and congratulate her for, you know, the recent appointment into the Wikimedia, uh, uh, into the Wikimedia Foundation as a senior global movement communication specialist in Africa. Winnie, we are so proud of you as a user group. And thank you for always inspiring us each and every day and pushing us to dream bigger, to go out there and volunteer and be change makers in our community in our different ways. Also, I cannot end this without realizing or rather recognizing the efforts of Karo Maura, who is also a part of uh, uh, the community user group in Kenya. And Karo, uh, together with Winnie, really came in at a time when the Wiki uh, Media Community User Group in Kenya was, I think it was dead, I would say, but through their magic, through their collaboration, they have brought us together. And nowadays, you know, our community is vibrant. Our community is more involved and engaged in activities in the Wikimedia movement. So thank you, Carol and Winnie. Please keep on, keep on inspiring us, keep on motivating us and through different in in incentives that you know, you keep pushing our way. For example, today you can see I'm wearing my Wikimania hoodie. It's called in Nairobi, yeah. And I know most of us in the user group here are wearing our hoodies and we are warm. Thank you to Wikimedia. Thank you so much. And um, just to close, um, I would like to say that um, our user group has tapped into the creativity and innovation of young people in Kenya, you know, to mobilize and shrink again the content gaps in Wikipedia. And as we speak, 85% of our user group members are young people under 35. So congratulations, young people, you are doing a great, uh, great uh, change to uh, this society. We are proud of empowering you in Kenya to be champions of free knowledge. And I do believe that it's very crucial that young Africans take the prominent role in pushing for knowledge equity and contributing towards the sustainable development goals. So thank you everyone. May you keep um, uh, contributing through different skills at your capacity you don't have to just be an editor. You can be a photographer. You can be a graphic designer. You can be a videographer. You can be, you know, um, a, an event organizer. So keep going. Thank you, guys. Well, uh, thank you so much, Terry. That's really inspiring. And I know there are very many, like, a lot of great, great minds, great youths in Kenya. Uh, Faith Moanyolo, one of them as well. So, and a lot of other youths that are doing great work. So thank you so much. Um, Valentin, I'm not sure if you have Valentin, but um, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, hi, hi everyone. Uh, yeah, very good, very good uh, vibes. Uh, fine round, uh, fine uh, around here. Yeah, I'm great to be speaking here. So yeah, hi, I'm uh, Renvoy in uh, Wiki Projects. Yeah, and um, mainly editing uh, Ukrainian projects. Uh, also, I am uh, globally globally involved in some cross-wiki patrolling and so on. And uh, I'm a member of Wikimedia Ukraine and Wikimedia Poland. Uh, so, yeah, great, uh, great to be here. Uh, about, um, um, yeah, generally this is a interesting initiative yeah because uh, i personally think that uh, young editors and young uh, members of uh, our communities are really um, once once being a very a very young editor is quite uh, um, i'd say um, uh, step st step forward for community being um, relying on young editors and uh, yeah, generally it's it's good um, good to highlight some um, action that is being done that have been done in uh, Ukraine and uh, in Poland to that regards. Um, yeah, for example, uh, we have a lot of um, for me yes also uh, like once being as a young very young editor, it's uh, nice to know that um, there could be real some support from community. But uh, on the other hand, it's really um, 
uh, good to understand that at least what we need to do to have an uh, inflow of young editors. So it's not to demotivate them from, I, I know this, this is uh, very rare um, actions, but sometimes they happen. And yeah, we need to look maybe a little bit closer into that and to try to uh, like um, eliminate even the most uh, uh, these rare examples of such because uh, yeah many uh, prominent uh, members of um, communities are real of young age uh, for in uh, Ukrainian community I can highlight uh, the recently very active user that is uh, Vitali uh, 1500 that is being crashing uh, that has been crashing the good articles uh, project uh, he's a very very um, good editor of very young age uh, in polish community community we have uh, for example a user uh, Yamnik Starnova that is uh, yeah being very at young age he's already an administrator and leading uh, member of community that is dealing with organizing of all editors of all uh, contests and yeah it's it's really uh, inspiring to see such examples and um, know that uh, regional chapters uh, of Wikimedia Foundation can really um, promote and um, uh, inspire um, such young editors to know that uh, to know that yeah we have we have a, a good uh, good uh, movement and good um, experience ahead of us uh, yeah because uh, although young editors may seem uh not not experienced enough not uh, having enough um yeah just just life experience uh, we have yeah multiple examples when for example all technicals all technical stuff in communities all technical stuff in on projects uh, were done by very editors of very young age that and yeah really that is that is very uh very nice to see when uh young editors are being uh, leaders of a community. Um, yeah, I think um, generally, generally, I'm done. Uh, thanks, thanks everyone for uh, yeah for nice comments. Uh, um, yeah, and generally, uh, thanks, uh, thanks for uh, such a session. Yeah. Wonderful. Thanks, uh, Valentin. I think we'll continue with our flow since we are almost left with uh, less than 20 minutes to wrap up. So Nada, uh, please take it away. Hello, everyone. Uh, uh, my name is Nada Farra. I'm a doctor from uh, Palestine. Uh, I'm a member of the Wikimedia Levant uh, user group and the Wiki World Heritage. Uh, well, I started my Wikimedia journey back in 2018. I had some interruptions in this journey, but the, the only constant thing was that I want to continue, I want uh, to improve as a Wikimedian, and uh, I want to spend uh, more time uh, to spread the, and share this improvement. Uh, I was uh, just an editor when I started this year, and now I am uh, on the leadership development working group where I get to participate in the actual uh, implication of the sixth recommendation of the movement strategy that endorses uh, investing in skills and leadership development. Uh, I have uh, invested uh, in my skills and uh, other colleagues, uh, other Wikimedian colleagues skills by coordinating uh, multiple, multiple workshops to document Levantine authors works and featured the uh, lists on uh, Arabic Wikipedia. Each list uh, has uh, exceeded uh, 80 published uh, books and articles. I have also guided members to uh, uh, translate, uh, uh, translate uh, pictures and uh, photos uh, and, uploaded, uh, and uploading uh, them to uh, Wikimedia Commons. I have co-organized Interwiki Women Collaboration 2020 workshop with my Wikimedia friend, Anur. We actually uh, co-organized a lot of workshops together that was directed uh, to newcomers and uh, build capacity. 
and uh, fill gap in uh, Wikipedia content about uh, about uh, women. What I most admire about my journey is that uh, it made uh, my free time eventful. It uh, expanded my comfort zone and helped me encounter young, promising people in each edit I made, uh, and uh, made me want to contribute more and have more people from my community in the movement as it. Uh, it's a place for everyone. Uh, so that's basically my journey. And um, I hope uh, every, uh, everyone have uh, an eventful journey in uh, their uh, Wikimedia journey and uh, in this uh, Wikimania and uh, have the inspiration to follow their own path. And as I said, it's a place for everyone and everyone should give, uh, give it a shot. So thank you. Thanks, uh, wonderful work, Nada. And it's great that you mentioned being part of the leadership development working group. <laughs> so already enough action like for youths being involved in movement strategy implementation. Uh, so let's hear from Prote on what is being done. Prote, over to you. Okay. Thank you, Seth Douglas. My name is Waezu Prote, a uh, Wikimedian from Rwanda and a member of Wikimedia Community User Group Rwanda. I'm happy to speak with you, everyone. I'm also the local organizer of the Wiki Vibrance of this year. So, I remember when I was joining Wikimedia, it is my friend who told me about, my friend also who is a young, who is a, a youth like me, who told me about the Wikimedia and it, it started, then I get interested. When I was joining in my community, there were a majority of, of a youth in, the, in Gwanda. In the community user group, Rwanda, there was the majority of young people, which I can address as my main motivation, which made me more curious about the knowing and planning the strategies of our movement. Yeah, because most of participants were young, I also aimed to, con to contribute high then so I can be more useful in that community of my age, my age groups. So I have started like in uh, July 2020, it's like two years ago. Then I started by editing, by contributing in some photo context. After I, I get to, minim to maximize my knowledge on editing hints and started training others as, as also mentoring other young people. This led me to contributing and attending more and international context where I joined where I joined the, the, the vibrance last year yeah, in, in August, I think. The, the, the vibrance was, was the African context which was aiming for the youth people to edit about the culture. Then I participated in, in that opportunity. Then I, I managed to be in the winner, in the top contributor. I remember I became the second. So after after winning that that prize, my community also recognized me to be in the main group of uh, Wiki Vibrance, which has taken place in the February, which also that opportunity gives me another chance to join the Afro cinema, Afro cinema, which was the continental context which aim to cover the knowledge gap about African cinema, where I also managed to to be in a contribute, top contributor. I remember he had the third prizes. Also, I become the motivation and the motivator to those other young people in my community. 
where they have a lot, I can teach them where I have a lot, they, they can learn from me and also still running and aiming to be more and active. So in my community, young people play the main part in every angle, where, where, whether in volunteer detention, in participating like in wiki projects, and also I remember like last few months we 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 hosted the the movement strategy. It was a research, but also the, the young young volunteers got involved in that project, and uh, we have been doing that for like two years ago. So in sharing ideas with with other youth volunteers they have increased the, the visibility of our media in Africa, our community in Africa, like we have set some, some strategies and also aimed to shape the future of our, for our community. So this leads to the, our community Rwanda is organized as the official Afriate official Wikimedia is a group in Rwanda, and we're happy to, to achieve that. So that's why I can say the youth volunteers are the more active and they are more important in our community. That's why we aim to celebrate them a lot. And I am sure the, the vibrant project is what we really do. So thank you very much. I'm happy to share you my story. Wonderful. Uh, thanks so much, uh, Prate. And um, like, good to see the budding community in Rwanda. You mentioned something interesting on when you started activities 2020. That was during the COVID-19 lockdown, and very many youths had a lot of time on their <laughs> on their plates. So uh, I think we saw a lot of increased contributions. We um like behind schedule, behind time. But then um, we have two more slides and um, probably Rafi could use his time, like three minutes. We can probably borrow more time from the Q&A sessions and then we can maybe play one video. So after Rafi, we'll play one video. I request the technical team to take note of that. So after Rafi, we can play maybe one video, then go to the Q&A session. Thank you so much. Over to you, Rafi. Rafi, are you are you with us? Are you there? Okay, uh, so probably we can uh, have one video played. Uh, like over to you, technical team. Thank you. I'm <laughs> 
to encourage all you to be part of this growing movement. So thank you, Wiki by Branch Project. Yeah, okay, so we, I think we only, I, I only had the last part of the video, there was some interference, but uh, no worries, uh, like we'll, we'll share this, we'll upload this to the, to the meta page, and we'll probably link it in the etherpad, so sorry about that, in case you didn't hear the video uh, very well, but I would like to now hand over to, to Francesc uh, to take over the Q&A, and then uh, Ofemia will wrap up. Thank you so much. Over to you, Franceschi. Thanks, Douglas. Uh, well, we are a little bit short on time, but I know that there are some questions in in the in the chat. So, if anyone wants to make those questions, let's say by voice, now is the moment. So, please make a comment in the chat, and we can invite you to make your questions. Yes, Caroline, do you want to do you want to make your question publicly or should I read it? Sure. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, we can. I just wanted to ask uh, two questions. Uh, one, uh, what are the challenges like the user groups are facing around uh, all those who have presented? Then again, uh, what how are they keeping the, the young people to continue being on Wikipedia? You know, sometimes we face uh, the issue of uh, people will come one day, do something, then they leave. How do you keep them going in the, in the community? Thank you. Thanks to you for your question. Um, I believe that that would be better if our local organizers or perhaps uh, so, uh, somebody else uh, can answer your question. Uh, just to give some time to somebody to step in, I will share my thoughts. When it comes to the um, challenges for the communities, I believe that, I mean, one challenge, uh, there are several challenges. One is, uh, of, of, um, you know, very related to leadership development of capacity building, etc. And uh, in order to, you know, to mind a little bit on the gap, yeah, we must say that there are, there, there are, I mean, uh, this year we have already put that in practice. We have implemented some grants for local organizers so we can help them to, um, you know, to, um, to prepare things with time uh, and without worrying or other things, etc. That's on one hand. Uh, on the other hand, when it comes to engaging uh, young Wikimedians, uh, well, uh, as we say here in, in Valencia, every person is a world. So, uh, I mean, this is something that uh, can change a lot from a person to another. Uh, I can say that, uh, you know, especially the, the, there are one specific kind of Wikimedians, which are the natural born Wikimedians, according to a to a uh, research that was uh, done by the Wikimedia Foundation a couple of years ago. And let's say that the, the people who are born Wikimedians, uh, that people who are very, very passionate on free knowledge, etc., uh, we, because uh, this is an event of the movement, we are a very specific breed of person, of people. And... Um, and I believe that that's difficult because sometimes it's very difficult to find a specific person, the, the, the appropriate person to, to dive into Wikipedia and to, to enjoy this uh, passionate platform. But as I said at the very beginning, I believe that to give a more specific and non-philosophical answer, I believe it's better to bring it to, to anybody else. So I don't know if Ufimia can add something as she was the person who started with all this initiative. If she can, if she can provide a, a more specific answer. Uh, 
Um, thank you, Frances. Um, just to add to what Frances said um, and about the questions around what our plans are or our thoughts in getting younger editors to join the movement. So one of the things that was really worrisome to us when we started was um, acknowledging that there are some uh, Wikimedia communities that do not have um, any young person in, in it at all at the moment. For example, uh, from Francis' um, community, he's about the only person um, in his community. And that is not good for us. That is not good for movement sustainability. So one of the things we did uh, this year was to launch the European Youth Day in this region, working with our youth institutions, um, with uh, the Reading Wikipedia in the Classroom program that attracted um, a lot of um, young people uh, during the program. Um, because of short of time, uh, uh, I think I will have to end it there, but know that there are still plans or we are happy to unveil that will definitely have uh, more young Wikimedians in, in the movement. Thank you. Thank you, Fimia, for your answer. Um, well, we've reached almost the end of our of our time, so uh, I will invite you again so you can say your the final statements and to close this this session for everyone. Okay. Um, thank you, Francesca, again, and thank you, everyone, for joining. I just want to speak about our new look today, uh, which is uh, our new logo. That was designed by uh, an international artist by name um, Jordan Becker Cardwell, uh, which speaks so much to our usefulness, our stamina, and our speed. And then also um, coming that this thing is happening in a community that is full of bed uh, lovers. Um, this is uh, the new logo we uh, have unveiled today and we'll be working with. Um, thank you everyone who have joined this section to listen to the work of young people. Thank you to our amazing speakers. Thank you to the core team members. You guys are the best. The technical team, thank you for your great work and uh, do enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye. Everyone. Recording stopped. Have a nice day. Thank you to our amazing speakers. Thank you to the core team members.